delighted to be here in this beautiful building in, in front of so many dignitaries and important people. I was asking my staff, where is Luis Almagro? Because I wanted to say hi to him, but apparently he's not here yet, right? Okay, well, nonetheless, we're going to applaud his actions. And um, some say that a great man like Almagro does not seek applause, he seeks truth. But today, we're honored to applaud him. Luis Almagro is a great man who has fought for truth and worthy causes his entire career. We have heard so many great things about him, and I want to echo everyone who has praised what a strong mark he has already left on the world, specifically in this hemisphere. In particular, he has been a champion for those fighting against oppression, dictatorship, and anti-Semitism. He ushered in a new era in this building, the OIS, fighting against dictatorships in South America and standing up for freedom, specifically in Cuba and Venezuela and Nicaragua. Now, once again, he has shown his unwavering commitment to fighting anti-Semitism anti -Semitism in our hemisphere. With his fantastic appointment of prestigious attorney Fernando Lautenberg, Brazilian, as a commissioner to monitor and combat anti-Semitism, we will confront the scourge and the hatred against the Jewish people that we are unfortunately experiencing right now in our hemisphere. After the horrific attacks on Israel on October 7th, there has been an explosion of anti-Semitism in Latin America. Specifically, three countries, Colombia, Honduras, and Chile, they have recalled their ambassadors to Israel shortly thereafter. Israel, is, this nation, Israel, began defending itself. Bolivia cut off diplomatic relations with Israel completely, accusing it of crimes against humanity. Colombia, President Gustavo Petro, compared Israel to the Nazis. Honduras, the shadow president, Manuel Zelayas, the husband of the president of the country, said that you are a criminal if you take the side of Israel in this war. In Brazil, President Lula da Silva said that Israel is repeating the Holocaust and that the Israelis are the new Nazis. In Chile, President Gabriel Borch just banned Israel from Latin America's largest airspace fair. In Mexico, President Lopez Obrador recalled Mexican, Mexico's ambassador to Israel and is supporting South Africa's persecution of Israel in the international court. It is not surprising, of course, that given these hateful statements from so many leaders in Latin America, Specifically in Brazil, there has been a 1,000% increase in anti-Semitic attacks. It is frustrating, though, that the, the heads of state have persecuted Israel in this fashion, but it's even more concerning that these leaders are the favorite partners of the Biden administration. While those countries which have condemned Hamas forcefully like Paraguay, Guatemala, and the Dominican Republic have received little thanks. I am very proud that Luis Almagro is on the right side of history and stands with our allies, Israel, and our partners in the rest of the hemisphere who are doing the right thing. So we thank you, Luis, for all you have done to help fight anti-Semitism in our hemisphere and in the pursuit of a more democratic and free world in the Americas. We applaud you today, and we will applaud you eternally. Thank you, and wonderful to be here.